Hello, just want to make a quick video and um, show you what I've done. Um, I've got it running right now. It's running itself. Uh, there's the caps. There's a cool little thing I pulled out of an old uh, VCR, I think it was, out of my uh, box O circuits. <laughs> Find lots of goodies in there. Anyways. Um, there's my battery. It's been at like 12.07 for two hours now. It's running itself. <coughs> I'm working on another cap bank. Uh, that one right there is like two 800s and like 400 microfarads. This one's going to be 25 volts and 21,000 microfarads. And I'm thinking maybe it'll pop, pop in there better. But anyways, I wanted to show you, I got rid of my old commutator, and I made this uh, SPDT read relay, and um, it works really good. I didn't realize how much drag those brushes put on the wheel, but it was a lot, <laughs> and uh, this works a lot, lot better, a lot better. Um, I tested it when I first put it on there and you get like only a volt or two less using this read switch than you do with it just free wheeling no switching at all but anyways that's off the pickup coils I'm talking the voltage but um, just wanted to show you that and share that with you um, it's charging this battery as usual but that, uh, this better switching really enhanced the performance. Um, I'm going to hook this cap bank up and uh, see what happens. But uh, this is running itself right now. Here, I'll actually, I'll stop it. Stop the wheel. And it's already starting to rebound a little bit. It was like at 12.8 when I started it. It drops like a, a hundredth of a volt when you first start it. I think if you spin the wheel faster than <laughs> what it normally wants to be at or whatever. Anyways. I'll empty out the cap bank as much as we can. And the energizer is on. And I'm going to give her a spin. I think that's about where we were. It went up a hundred of a volt. Anyway, so I'll flip the switch to get her going. And now it'll stay at 12.08. <laughs> Craziness. Well, thereabouts. Honestly, it's going to stay there now for as long as I leave it on. Actually, when the wheel will slow down to where it should be a little bit, and then it'll pop back up 12.8, or may st stay at 12.07. That's where it was for a long time, so that would probably make more sense. Anyways, wanted to um, share that with you. I uh, I'm gonna put another layer of magnets on it before I make the new wheel. Test that all out. But anyways, wanted to share the new switching. Works a lot better. Highly recommend it. Uh, talk to you later.